According to researchers, loneliness is now an epidemic, but how can so many of us be lonely when we're surrounded with people? And add to that, we're connected constantly through texting, Facebook, Twitter, the list goes on and on, but yet we're still lonely. So what's missing? Our guests say it's time to look for a deeper, more meaningful kind of community, one in which you can explore your faith with others. It's time to go on a spiritual journey. Joining us for this discussion are Jennifer Rodia and the Reverend Gary Henderson of the United Methodist Church. Good morning to both of you. Thank you. Good morning. It's good to be here. Good to have you. Jennifer, let me start with you. Do you think there's an epidemic of loneliness, especially when we are a society that is so connected? You know, as human beings, I think we're created to be in relationship mm -hmm. with God and with each other. And even though this digital world allows us to expand our friend base in ways we never would have imagined, we still long for a deeper, more meaningful relationship. Because it's not the same. Right. And, and you know, what we see online isn't even always accurate. Research will tell us, you know, 22 percent of us believe that our friends online are more successful and more content than they actually are. But that's where we believe the church comes in and it can be that place where you can have those meaningful conversations and relationships. Reverend, I want to bring you in. I want to discuss religion versus spirituality. I often hear people say they're spiritual, but not religious. What's the difference between the two? The difference is this. When I say I'm spiritual, it for me is a moral compass in terms of how I live life from day to day. Mm -hmm. When I talk about religion, I think about form and institution, maybe even the way I grew up. And so when I talk about being a spiritual person, for me there is a connection to God, a place where I grow and I also feel very alive. Let's turn now to faith. A big word, faith. I have a lot of faith. And I, it seems like more and more people want to explore their faith, perhaps even go on a spiritual journey. What does that look like to you? Faith is that place where we begin to understand that there's something more. Mm -hmm. And out of that understanding of there's something more, I want to know more. So it puts me on a journey. Uh, the spiritual journey has a starting place where I begin to ask perhaps difficult questions. And I may think that the difficult questions are mine alone. And I discover in community that there are others who are asking similar and difficult questions. As we grow together, we begin to evolve. Uh, I start as a beginner, perhaps even a child, into adolescence, into adulthood. The spiritual life is one where the, we evolve as a human being and we discover a vital connection with God. Jennifer, people talk a lot about uh, the desire to have a fulfilling life. It's very important. How does or how can the United Methodist Church help people achieve that? The United Methodist Church is a place where you can belong. We aspire to be open hearts and open minds and open doors. And one of the powerful ways that that's communicated is through a, a deep held belief that God's grace is available to everyone, that all are welcome at his table. Communion is completely open. And, you know, Gary was talking about the questions we ask on a spiritual journey. We believe in being able to have open dialogue, you know, on a shared faith foundation where we can really discuss things that matter. And also we have a strong foundation in serving one another. That's how we show God's love is by putting our beliefs into action. So the church is a place that has real relevance in people's lives, Reverend? There is real relevance in the church and I connect that to the way in which we see this church growing today. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer? You know, for me, I like to remember that the church is not a building. It's really about the people. And I've experienced that so much in my life. When I first moved to New York City, one of the first things I did was find United Methodist Church. And it helped me to deal with all of the need that I saw around me. I couldn't walk to the subway without seeing someone who really needed some assistance. And the church grounded me. It gave me friendships. It gave me a way to act on that service. There were teachings that really helped make me who I am today. And then years later, when my son was born with some life-threatening complications mm. that, and all of my family lived out of state, the church surrounded me and really became a second family. People of faith putting their belief into actions, it makes God's love tangible in this world. They were there for you. Yes. Indeed. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I do appreciate it. How is your son today, if I may ask? He is truly a miracle. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Reverend, for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. For more information on the United Methodist Church, its community outreach, and exploring your faith, visit RethinkChurch.org. That's RethinkChurch.org. Or you can go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com.